I'm still in the clothes I wore when I was out walking the dogs. I didn't even get time to change. So, you guys are seeing me in my... <laughs> yeah, I got this shirt. It's actually from Walmart, believe it or not. Oh, and apparently you can really see my bra too. Nice. Keeping it classy today. <clears throat> we still have a couple minutes. And for those of you who are getting on the call from my 30 or the scope for my 31 days of YouTube, if you see a cutie named Jen Cody, she is my bestie and she is the best realtor here in New Mexico. I'm waiting for her to say, aww. <clears throat> we actually, we were talking, she called me earlier when we were talking about Toastmasters and we found out that one of the members of our group, he's an older guy, his wife passed away. Oh, thanks for the shout out, you're welcome. But his wife passed away. So I was like trying to like wrap my brain around that before, while I was eating dinner quick, while I was finishing walking my dogs. So yeah, it's been a crazy 30 minutes. But so we're going to talk about channel descriptions on for your YouTube channel. Now, for those of you who do not have a YouTube channel, you can also kind of use this for your own websites. Also, especially if you use like Vimeo, Periscope, YouTube, obviously, and other social medias also, because I think having a optimized channel description or a description of your, of your content or what your website is, is super duper important. So let's give a couple more minutes for people to still come in. I have, my connection is wonky. Oh no, I'm even on my Wi-Fi too. So you guys should be getting a good connection from me. Deb, feel free if you need to scoot out and come back, try to get a better connection. If not, um, feel free to tweet me your questions or email me them and I will we'll do our own separate thing. So I want to make sure. But feel free to give those hearts, girl. <laughs> but I'll make sure you're taken care of. And then also I do post the replays on YouTube. So... I should do that tonight. If not, it'll be up tomorrow. So, oh, funny question. I did get asked about my tattoo because apparently in one of my other scopes, I turned my, my shoulder and you guys saw my tattoo. So I did say that if we got six people on this call or on the scope, I would share my tattoo with you guys. So if we get one more, I will show you guys my tattoo. No, oh, we got six. I have a double on my shoulder and it's not like oh Amanda's the devil type thing I was told not to get a tattoo so I did and growing up I was always called Diabolessa which means little she devil and not because I was evil but because it was just kind of my personality so I got a little cute fat she devil wearing a bikini on my shoulder so I do indeed have a devil on my shoulder but let's go ahead and get started. Deborah, did your connection, did it work itself out? You're good? Okay, so YouTube and channel descriptions. I've heard some people say that channel descriptions are not important because no one reads them. But I'm here to say, Baha, that's actually not true. Channel descriptions are very, very, very important. In and out. Okay, girl, feel free when you when you're in. You know, let me know what your questions are, things like that. We'll we'll work with it. Um, if it's gonna be spotty, just feel free to check the my YouTube channel tomorrow, and I'll post a reply. But on your YouTube channel, I think it's very important to have a accurate description of what your channel is about. Now, like we talked about yesterday with naming your channel and how you're branding it, you know, keep your your description in line with that. But I, when I actually did this, I didn't realize how crummy my channel description was until I was writing the blog post for today. So if you guys read the, the blog post on mangydeanchic.com, I showed you my before and then I showed you my after of my channel description. So my original channel description said, my numbers of subscribers and it said description, a dog mom... Oh, I gotta blow this up because I got I'm getting old and I can't see as well. I'm a dog mom, fashion style, decor blogger, 
4 by 4 enthusiast, makeup loving, gun shooting, shoe crazy, plus size gal, which any of my friends who, who really know me know that's so me. But that's really not... Yes, that's what my blog is about, and yes, it's what my vlogs are about too, but I could have put a little bit more effort into that. So what I did was I explained to you guys a little bit about what a channel description is, and you're basically introducing your channel to somebody. The first few sentences of your channel description are the most important because when someone hovers over your picture or a video, they will see your channel description, and they'll see the first few sentences. So if you say... Hi everybody, my name is Mandy, I have a YouTube channel, Smiley Face, that's what they're going to see. But if you say, hey everybody, I'm Mandy, I have a vlog, I post daily vlogs, I have a YouTube channel that talks about DIYs, planners, everything that I find chic, you're getting a little bit more of a feel for what that channel is about. So I would highly, highly suggest that take the time to really look at your channel description. Now, I wanted to go through and talk about the channel descriptions that I showed on the on my blog and why I thought that they were really, really good and they work with SEO and they work with, when you're glancing at it, you really get a feel of what their channel is about. So, <clears throat> sorry, I feel like, like Booba Palooza here. One of my one of my favorite plus size fashion bloggers, her name is is Aaliyah Lara Lorando, Lorando. Sorry. She says, "My name is Aaliyah, and welcome to my life. I'm a <laughs> I love this girl. I'm a wife to a sexy Mexican Im immigrant, now U.S. citizen, a YouTuber talking plus size fashion to lifestyle, an entrepreneur with over six businesses under my belt." A fur baby mommy to the best Boston Terriers on the planet, Carson and Macy. From lifestyle videos, personal messages, and stories to talking about my passions, and then she said beauty, reading, fashion, city life, merry life, fine dining, traveling, to monthly favorite videos and hauls. I've got all the fun girly stuff right here. And then she goes with her upload. Thank you for hearts. And she goes into her upload schedule. So looking at her channel description, you know, you get a, a grasp of who she is what her channel is about, and what she produces. When I'm looking at YouTubers, that's what I want to know. And I think she did a fantabulous job of this. Now, also below, she lists all of her media links. I am really, I'm like the social media whore. I will seriously, like if I love somebody, I will follow them on every single social media channel that they have. I am that girl. So I love seeing other people's media channels. Now, in your description, if you have a blog or a website, it is imperative that you include that link on your description because <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm here to tell you, no one reads those description boxes that we post at the bottom of videos. Maybe like a handful of people do. Hard it up if you actually read those description boxes. See, nobody. <laughs> So, I still do them. I still, I still post all of my, I love your social media hornets. Ah, oh, Jen, I love you. I almost said something that would be slightly inappropriate for a live chat. <laughs> but, <laughs> I love, I lost my train of thought with the social media hornets. Sorry. What I love when I follow people on on YouTube and stuff like that is seeing their blogs and their websites because people, I'm guilty of this, <laughs> she's laughing at me so hard, I lose track of like, when I'm reading the descriptions, like I look for the content that I want. So I don't, and I'm so guilty of this, sometimes read the whole thing, but I always look at people's about pages on their channel. Because you see their website, their Twitter, their Instagram, their Facebook, their Pinterest, their Periscope. You see it all. So I highly suggest you guys put those links on your channel descriptions. Now, for those of you who are not on YouTube or maybe on Vimeo and other media outlets, seriously, cross-post your stuff. Put it on your website. Jen, you being a realtor. It, like, we've, actually, I gave Jen the idea to use Periscope for, for literally like virtual tours of some of the homes that she has for sale. We actually did one if you guys saw it. She's the one that filmed um, my shortness when I couldn't reach the top of the the oven cabinet. Yeah, 
Thanks, Jen. But again, Jen, what you could do on your website is, you know, check me out on Periscope. I do live virtual tours or things like that. Really important to be active. So that was Leah. The other one that I posted is Miss Trenchcoat. Now, Miss Trenchcoat, hers is very to the point. Everyone loves Miss Trenchcoat, especially in Mandyland. Hers is very to the point. She says, well, hello there. And you guys, when I read this, like I totally read this in Alexis's voice. I'm Alexis, a 20-something content creator and entrepreneur. So we know she's a content, content creator and an entrepreneur. This is my channel where lifestyle and productivity meet. Super duper. If you like what you see, don't forget to check out my site, strangecharm.com, where I post even more awesome content to help make your life easier and more productive. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, at Miss Trenchco. I love to hear from you. So what did Alexis do right in that? Anybody? She gave us a lot of information about how to subscribe to her, where to subscribe to her, what she does, and her website. Because Alexis is one that she posts, if you guys don't know this, so just like write this down. Her YouTube channel, super fab. But her blog, super fab. And she does cross post some content, but there's some content on her blog that you won't see on her channel. And in my opinion, that is brilliant for her to do because she gets traffic to both places. So I love her uh, her description and her channel because of that. And then again, she lists all of her media links below. So she tells you who she is, what her channel's about. She doesn't include an up include an upload schedule, but you know it's okay to each their own. But she also invites you to go to her blog, and she invites you to subscribe to her channel. So that's another really good one. <clears throat> Paper and Glam, Lisa Marie. Hers is, she tells you who she is, but she's a California girl living in Denver, but not for very much longer. She, I plan at dawn, work in IT by day, and write by candlelight. I'm about God and glam, hot pink lipstick, and fitting it all in. For those of you who know Lisa Marie, that's totally her. So she tells you who she is. She also tells you what Paper and Glam is. And she invites you to subscribe. And then she also lists her P.O. box in her description box. I'm totally fine with that. You know, if YouTubers want to list their P.O. box, super duper great. But then she goes on to list her links. So I did include a couple other ones. We won't go through them all. But how I actually changed mine was I said, I still kept the I'm a dog mom, fashion style, decor blogger, 4x4 enthusiast, makeup loving, gun shooting, shoe crazy plus size gal, I also turn junk into treasures and I am on a quest to live my life on my terms. Every morning I share my daily vlogs, fashion, beauty planner, DIY lifestyle, and much more. I, if I love something, I will share it. The best way to describe me would be think Martha Stewart but nicer and no prison time. Which if Martha Stewart ever saw that, I would feel like kind of bad because I used to love her a lot. But Don't forget to check my blog out for more projects. I listed my blog. Life, no life notes and everything I find chic. Please in inquiries, please contact me and Chic at gmail.com. Really important for me to put that on here because I get a lot of traffic and a lot of PR companies that contact me. And it's easier if I tell them where to contact me than for them to send me inquiries on YouTube. And then I also say share your pictures with me on Instagram and Twitter via hashtag MandyJeanChic. So I've told you who I am, what I do, what I love, and what my channel is about. I still think... Oh, I can't hear just a gray screen. This is loading, but I can comment and send hearts. And everyone else who's on here, am I okay? <clears throat> because maybe it might be my connection. Heart it up if I'm okay. Oh, shoot, girl. Okay, you're going to need to check the, probably the replay then. So I will make sure that I post that as soon as I can for you. Like I said, if you have questions or comments, shoot me an email and we will rock this out. But that's how I changed my, you guys can tell when I change my computer screen because I have my big iMac in front of me and it like changes the, the lighting on my face. So that is, so what do I think you should include on your channel description? You need to list your channel name and the name you would like your subscribers to know you by. I know a lot of people know me by Amanda. And not many people in my personal life know me by Mandy Jean. So 
Uh, but I want people on the internet to know me as Mandy Jean. One, a little bit of privacy, and two, Mandy Jean just sounds fun. Amanda sounds really professional. I asked, I, train of thought, I need, seriously, you guys, I need, like, more caffeine tonight. I also stated that you should put a little info about who you are. Now, you don't have to go into your life story, but think of, like, a few of the quirky details about who you are and what makes you unique. My friend Jen, when she set up her Periscope, she said, what did, what did you say, Jen? I can't remember now. All I remember is puppies and wanderlust and rocking the realtor, reality world here in New Mexico. Real estate world, sorry. Isn't that like the gist of it? Because she came up with like this really cool description of herself on the cough. And I'm like, you and your creativity. But I'm sure Jen will list it below. So a little info about who you are and, and what makes you different than the other YouTubers that are out there or why someone would identify with you. I also said that Oh, I actually, this is repeating it, but I said, why someone should subscribe to your channel and what type of videos you produce. So you should tell people <clears throat> what your channel is, what you produce, the videos you have, and then also your upload schedule. Because a lot of people that I love, like Miss Trenchcoat, Paper Glam, um, Sorry Girls, Emily Noel, I know they're, they're Miss, Mr. Kate, I love Mr. Kate. I check out their upload schedules and I know when they upload, so I make sure I check their videos out. Also, list <clears throat> some type of contact information because as your channel grows, people are going to want to contact you. Now, you don't have to list your email. You don't have to list anything super personal, but I would recommend you telling someone, hey, if you want to get a hold of me, follow me on Twitter and send me a direct message or something like that if you want a little bit more privacy. Also, include your links. Always include all your social media links because you don't know who's going to say, oh my gosh, my friend Jen has Instagram. I'm going to check on Instagram too and I'm going to follow her. Just an example. So do you guys have any more questions or thoughts about channel descriptions and why they're important? <clears throat> my throat is... Ugh, we're getting rain so everything's blooming now. It's been fun. So if you guys haven't, why, if you guys are thinking or typing questions in there, if you haven't checked out MandyJeanSheet.com, I highly suggest you do because I do post more in depth about the prompts for the 31 days of YouTube. So you guys actually like have content to follow and I give you guys a little bit of homework. Nothing crazy. This has really helped. Awesome. I'm so glad. Oh, hey, Leslie. I didn't realize that was you because you didn't have your run with craft scissors. See? Branding, branding. I'm kidding. I'm so glad it's helped you. I did notice because I was checking out Charlene's and Leslie's YouTube because they posted their homework on on Instagram. And Charlene changed hers to Hi, I'm Sh Charlene. Is it Charlene? Sorry. I'm an Aussie, which you guys know I love Australians. I live in Queensland, a stone's throw from the Pacific Ocean. My channel is about friendship. It is the only reason I do videos, which is amazing. I love all the people I meet on YouTube and a beautiful community I'm part of, the things I learn and sometimes even share. I hope you'll join along with me on this journey. Subscribe, like, and share, and show the love. Again, who she is, what her videos are about, and invites you to like and share. And then she also lists all of her links below. And then my friend Leslie, who is like my planner bestie, love this girl. You know, her description says, going to post videos on scrapbooking, planning, small DIY, and some organization. Her channel name is Run With Craft Scissors, right? Like, is that your URL? So if someone looked up Run With Craft Scissors, they would find you, right? If you follow, if you go to my channel and you look at some of my vlogs, she normally will post on my vlogs. Just added more and yes. Okay. I would suggest uh, you, you do add more because I've noticed your channel's grown quite a bit here recently, especially with the whole Heidi Swap planner stuff that you're doing. And in your videos are so cool. I could listen to, hey, my dogs are down here and they are not happy that they're having to hang out with mom for a while. And then Hank is like right here. He's over it. But 
I would add more to it, Leslie. Actually, let me see what you did. You did add more. Holy moly, girl. When did you do that? She said, my name is Leslie. I live in the Midwest. I've been married for five years, and we have a two-year-old son. Her son is so cute. We have a black Bombay jasmine and a yellow lead penny. I love scrapbooking. I create my own layouts and use layouts from local scrapbooking stores, scrapbook generation. My love of memory keeping while listening to your advice. You're the best. I love this girl. My love of memory keeping led me to the planning community. I currently use the Heidi Swap memory planner. Once I joined into the planner community, I started my Etsy shop and making started my Etsy and making decorative paper clips and stickers. I may show my life as a teacher though, my life planning, my teacher planning or fun teacher activities. I like small easy DIYs so I will show you what I make. I also like to try out kid crafts from Pinterest with my two year old. I'm on Twitter at craftyladybug05. Awesome. You told everybody what your channel is, who you are, and they feel like you know they, they got to know you a little bit more. And I think also putting in their Heidi Swap Memory Planner, that will help people kind of identify what type of planner you use. So I know a lot of people do type in Heidi Swap Memory Planner because they're looking for layout ideas. Sorry, I've got the hiccups now. If I start hiccuping, you guys are going to laugh. I have the weirdest hiccup in the history of hiccups. But people do post or search Heidi Swap Memory Planner. So that will also probably get you quite a bit of traffic, especially as you post... Did you guys hear Kimber? They're waiting at my door in my craft room. They're like, come on, Mom. We need to go back out for our walk. But good job on that. I love it. Just a plug to my planner bestie. Let me pull out one of her clips. This is like my favorite clip ever that she sent. Well, I actually, this is one I ordered from her shop. But it's a little cactus <laughs> with a sombrero. Isn't this adorable? So if you guys would like a cactus with a sombrero... I believe the matching one went to the UK, right? But check out her shop, Roma Craft Scissors. Uh, Leslie, I would suggest you put the link to your Etsy shop in your links tab. So that way when... Oh, you know what? I have another one at first. Oh, okay. This is when you know your true, like, planner besties, right? These are all from her. I bet my koala. I'm so sad. And these are just the ones that I don't have in my planner right now. Because I have my cat one in my planner. Is these, these are the ones I've ordered for me, right? I think so. So if you guys would like some cute planner clips, I suggest you check out my friend Leslie at Run With Craft Scissors. Because she makes really cute planner clips. Shameless plug to her. She also sent me this one. Which she said was so me, which I agree because it's a Mac lipstick. But good job on your channel description, girl. Great job. Do you guys have any more questions or comments about your channel description or YouTube or from the previous days? Thanks. You're the best. No? Okay, if you guys think of anything, we can chit-chat about it tomorrow. Or I'm going to get on Instagram tonight because I haven't been on Instagram much today, you guys. You know I've had a busy day when my planner looks like this. It's totally blank. I haven't even had time to play with my planner today. I have been so busy. I woke up late. Yeah, it's been one of those days. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later on if we don't have... I know, right? That's so not, not me to like not have a decorated planner. But I did... I'll show you guys this. Remember how in my vlog I was complaining how I don't like the layout and the day designer on the weekends? Because I don't like how they put a day on one page. I figured out a way to make it work for me. I used this for Saturday and this for Sunday. And I just blocked out the days or the times. And, oh, I'm hoping I don't have anything embarrassing on here. So I just, like, whipped it out and showed it to you guys. So I think this is going to work for me. So I think I'm going to be able to use this planner on the weekends. So I'm super excited about it. But, yeah, haven't even planned it today. Haven't done anything with it. So thank you guys for watching. And, Leslie, I know you're still here. I do have my Heidi Swap planner out. I am working on it today. So I will 
be taking part of your Heidi Swap challenge. If you guys have a Heidi Swap planner, check out the Heidi Swap memory planner group on Facebook because my friend Leslie is hosting a month long uh, challenge where it's basically a planner challenge, but I'm kind of using it to get back into using my Heidi Swap planner because I did love it. I just hadn't used it as much. So anything else? You want me to let you guys go? Yeah? Okay, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I'm going to take the kids back out for the rest of their walk. So you guys have a great night. I always forget how to stop this. When I like when I look into the camera, I'm all how do I stop this?